Welcome to the Stealth Channel. In today's video we will examine the DDGX, the next generation guided missile destroyer for the United States Navy. The DDGX is intended to replace the existing Ticonderoga class guided missile cruisers and early flights of Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyers. At 13,000 tons, the DDGX will be larger than the 9,700 ton Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyers, but smaller than the 16,000 ton Zumwalt class guided missile destroyers. The DDGX program office was opened in June 2021. The office has stated that the goal was to start construction of the new design in fiscal year 2028. An official statement by the DDGX program office states, DDGX leadership is tasked with developing an acquisition strategy, a design slash technical data package and ship construction, testing, fleet introduction and sustainment plans. They go on to further say the DDGX will provide the flexibility and margins necessary to succeed the DDG-51 class as the Navy's next enduring large surface combatant combining the DDG-51 Flight 3 combat systems elements with a new hull form, an efficient integrated power system and greater endurance reducing the fleet logistics burden. The DDGX program has a goal of completing a preliminary design in fiscal year 2022 in partnership with current destroyer shipyards as the Navy is in the midst of developing a formal acquisition strategy. These two destroyer shipyards are the Huntington Ingalls Industries Ingalls Shipbuilding which is located in Pascagoula, Mississippi, and General Dynamics Bath Iron Works which is located in Bath, Maine. The fiscal year 2022 budget request calls for about $79.7 .7 million for conceptual development work. Fiscal year 2022 preliminary design will lead to fiscal year 2026 detail design and fiscal year 2028 construction start. Instead of the conventional gas turbine engines found in most Navy vessels, the DDGX is planned to be an electrical ship that will have the ship's prime movers aboard powering a ship-wide electrical grid. In addition to propelling the ship, this will create excess electrical power, which will be available to feed power-hungry sensors and high-energy weapons like lasers. Notionally, the new ship could power up to 600 kilowatt lasers that would be powerful enough to interdict hostile guided missiles. According to the draft concept design released by the DDGX office, the new destroyer's baseline capability would have them initially be armed with a 32-cell Mark 41 vertical launch system forward of the superstructure. Future capabilities would be to swap out the Mark 41 VLS system for a new vertical launch system that contains 12 larger missile cells for the forthcoming Common Prompt Strike hypersonic missile. Additional weapons in the baseline capability will include two Mark 31 launchers for the Raytheon RIM-116 rolling airframe missile, or RAM, for point defense against aircraft and missiles. Future capabilities will see the two Mark 31 RAM launchers replaced by two 600 kW high-energy lasers. These high-energy lasers will be 10 times more powerful than the current high-energy lasers that are now being tested aboard U.S. Navy ships, such as Lockheed Martin's 60-kilowatt high-energy laser with integrated optical dazzler and surveillance or Helios. The Navy is also calling for a ship that can travel 50% farther and spend 120% longer time on station. The plan also calls for a 25% reduction in fuel usage compared to the Arleigh Burke class and reduced requirement for the Navy combat logistics fleet. DDGX aims to have improved seakeeping and improved Arctic operations. Arleigh Burke class destroyers were designed to operate primarily in the tropics. The DDGX program office isn't committed to a specific hull design, but presented a swept, angular, bulbous bow design reminiscent of an Arleigh Burke class rather than the tumble home, wave piercing design of the Zumwalt class. We haven't actually locked down the hull form yet. That's a concept, said Deputy Program Manager Catherine Connolly referring to the concept drawing the office presented at a briefing at the Surface Navy Association Symposium on January 12, 2022. An alternate design configuration from the one released at the symposium was seen recently on a potential hull form model being tested at the Naval Surface Warfare Center Carterock in Bethesda, Maryland. With the lessons learned from the Zumwalt class guided missile destroyers, the DDGX program endeavors to do what the Zumwalt class failed to do which was to provide a modern replacement for the aging and non-stealthy Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruisers and Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyers. I will endeavor to upload a new video each week so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have uploaded a new video. I hope you will enjoy this content and continue to come back for more.